Hello everyone, welcome to another Star Wars Old Republic video. And for this video, I'm going to be talking about a very unique and interesting topic, which is the top 3 items in-game that were really cheap when they were first released, but relative to what they were going for then, they are super expensive and super rare now. So let's get right into this one. The first thing I want to talk about is the Cathar Honor Sword. The Cathar Honor Sword was released, and this is coming in at number 1, I'm not going 3-2-1, I'm going 1-2-3 because I don't know why. Let's switch it up. So in the contraband packs, you have the Enforcer contraband pack. This was where the Cathar Honor Sword was first released. Interesting enough, now the Cathar Honor Sword from this pack is a gold rarity item. When it was first released, it was a silver rarity item. It was a common item and it was going for pretty cheap on the GTN. This was released in one of the earlier packs and you could pick this up for in the hundreds of thousands of credits. It really varied when it was first released. Uh, super cheap, but as you guys can tell, a very cool looking, very popular item. One of the few swords in game. Of course, there are tons of Viber swords, but no Viber sword has even come close to looking like this. And interestingly enough, Bioware has not really reskinned or remodeled it. Now, if you guys have been uh, keeping up with the GTN and some of the rare items in game, you could, you might be knowing that the Cathar Honor Sword is one of the rarest and most sought after uh, weapons in the game. And so it tells for millions of credits in the GTN. <clears throat> I think I spelled honor wrong. As you guys can see, 25, 27 million credits. Up there with the Unstable Arbiter's Lightsaber and the Defined Vented Lightsaber, and it's not even Platinum Rarity, it's Gold Rarity. Yet it's up there and it sells really well at these prices. This is a very, very popular weapon, excuse me, a very popular weapon. Uh, sells very well at high prices, which is a, quite a rare thing to see. You don't often see items going for 20, 30 million credits and actually selling at that price. So it's one of those really rare items, and it was super cheap at one point. And I know a lot of people that have known it was going super cheap at that time. I personally wasn't even playing at that time. Uh, so I can't um, beat myself down too much. But I know a lot of people who have been saying, oh, I really wish I'd bought it up when it was cheap and when it was going um, and when not so um, sought after. Because now everyone wants the Cathar Honor Sword and they have to pay high prices for it. But back in the day, you could have picked it up for in the hundreds of thousands of credits. So that's, one of, that's the number one item that used to be cheap and now is super rare. This, now coming in at number two is the dramatic extroverts. Now this the dramatic extrovert armor set. Now this is in the stronghold packs. Uh, not a very well known armor set. Not something that a lot of people. Um, not something that a lot. Oh, where is this? Was it the shadow packs? No, it was the starfighter packs. Sorry, my bad. It was the starfighter packs in the dogfighters in the dogfighter starfighter packs. Let's see. Where is a dramatic extrovert? Right over here. As you guys can tell, this was a very unique armor set when it was first released. You didn't see many of these types of armor sets where it left the torso uh, revealed and um, and it was a nice, tight-fitting, Sith-looking armor set. Very, very popular. When this was first released, similar to the Cathar Honor Sword, it was not gold rarity. This wasn't even silver rarity. This armor set was bronze, uh, which is, as you can see, pretty amazing. It was a very good-looking armor set for something that was bronze rarity, and it was extremely common when the pack was first released. I'm talking about this one as low as bronze items do. 20,000, 10,000, 50,000 credits. It was crazy low and um, not a lot of people were even going after it. I remember uh, the sales were super bad at that time and, um, um, and you know, they weren't even selling at that price. However, as you guys can tell, it suddenly just became an extremely popular armor set. Bioware recognizes popularity and has made it gold rarity. So now if you open one of these packs, you're not going to be getting a lot of these because this is actually gold, uh, a gold armor set now, no longer bronze. So its RNG has changed and it is much harder to get a hold of. And as you guys can see on the GTN, it's going to be going for tons of credits. No longer is it going for 40, 50,000 credits. This is actually going for millions of credits now. And even just its single armor pieces are going. And I recently had a, um, I actually opened a Dogfighter Starfighter pack back in October when all the packs were available. And I got the whole armor set basically. And I was able to sell it for millions of credits. The helmet's going for pretty cheap, which is fine. But the major really good item from this armor set is the upper body armor. And that's what sells for tons of credits. I recently sold the entire armor set of this on this, um, on this server, which is the Bedroom Colony. And as you guys can see, I made quite a little bit of a fortune off of it. So that was definitely a very, very common, very cheap item that has now become super rare and worth a lot. And once again, sells at very high prices. Now coming in at number three, I actually have a double armor, uh, two armor sets that I'm going to squish in together and say these. this is number three. And these are armor sets that uh, when they were first released were going for super cheap but now are very expensive. Let's start with the first one. It is the it is in the Strongholds packs, from the Acolyte Strongholds packs, one of the first Hypercrits ever bought. Uh, Acolyte Shadows packs, my bad. I, I said Acolyte, Acolyte Stronghold. I meant to say Acolyte Shadow. 
This is the... Actually, they were both from the Acolyte Shadow, interesting enough. Wow, I didn't, I didn't even uh, catch that. The first one is the Revenite Pursuer armor set. Once again, an armor set that... Bronze armor set, and still is a bronze armor set. That was going for... Thousand, in the really low thousands. Like, I'm saying you could pick up... You could pick up the upper body armor for like a thousand, two thousand credits, and the helmet was going for like twenty thousand, ten thousand credits. I expressly remember buying these up and giving them away on Lobby Planets. I thought, this is a really cool looking helmet. It's got the Revan name in it. It's called the Revan Knight. I'm like, I'm sure some Lobby players would love to have this. So I used to buy these up for 20,000 credits, go to Lobby Planets like Korriban and Drome and Kass and just give it for free and players would love them and be, oh, thank you so much. This looks really cool. And, um, and then, lo and behold, I didn't even realize that if I had just held on to those in a few months time, I could sell them for millions of credits. You look on the server right now, or look on the GTN right now. Keep in mind, this is very across servers, but overall, it is a very popular and very uh, expensive armor set. Revenite Pursuer. Okay, the gloves, the boots, you can't expect those to be too high, but the breastplate jumps to 975,000 credits. Keep in mind, this you could buy for one to 2,000 credits back when it was first released. And the armor set itself is going for 22 million credits because the helmet is super rare and super expensive. As you guys can see, the helmet itself is going for 25 million credits. So very, very cheap, very common uh, armor set that actually went for millions of credits, is, is going for millions of credits now. So you could have made a ton of credits if you bought those up. And the other one is actually the Shea Vizsla armor set. Uh, basically every armor piece in this set was super expensive. The belt, the greaves, the helmet, that those were all selling for millions of credits even when the pack was first released. Shea Vizsla was an extremely popular character and everyone wanted her armor piece. But for some reason, the Shea Vizsla's chest guard sold very, very poorly on the GTN. I remember this going even lower than the Revenite Pursuer stuff. Like It was going for 20,000, 15,000 credits. For, like, normally, if you look at any gold armor set, the chest piece is the thing that's extremely rare, that is often has a lower RNG than the rest of the items. Uh, not a lot of people end up with the upper body armors or the chest pieces from certain packs. However, this was extremely, extremely common, and it was selling for 25,000, 30,000 credits on the GTN. Look in the GTN now, and you'll find that the Shea Vizsla armor, you'll, you'll be lucky if you even get it for under a million credits. So let's quickly take a look at that. As you guys can see here, 1.9 million credits. And this is something that was going for like 20,000 credits back when it was first released. I have no clue why. It must have just been a really common item that was popping out of those packs, and it really must have just flooded the market. But either way, once again, an example of of an armor piece that was extremely common and going for an extremely low price and is now rare and selling for millions of credits. So those are the top three items that I thought really showcased how you can make it big on buying low selling high on the GTN. Three items that were extremely rare and, and you had no way of knowing that the dramatic extrovert would go to uh, be, suddenly become a gold item and super rare when it was bronze. Bioware decided to make that change based on popularity. A uh, similar example is a Temple Guardian. The Temple Guardian armor piece is actually, uh, let's see if I can find the correct, I think they were in the Nightlife packs, Star Cluster, all right, Club Vertica, here we go, the Temple Guardian. This was another example of an armor set that they came out with that they didn't, that Bioware didn't even know was going to be that popular, and everyone just wanted the set, everyone went crazy for it, they really wanted the set, they really loved the set, and Bioware decided, oh wow, this is actually popular, let's make it gold, let's make it more rare because people are really enjoying it. So once again, examples of these armor sets that were cheap and became super rare based upon Bioware changing its rarity and also just because of players finding it very popular. So it goes to show that just because some item is bronze doesn't mean it can't be really popular and really expensive on the GTN. The Revenite Pursuer armor set is a perfect example of that, a bronze armor set that sells for more credits than most gold armor sets do in-game. So yeah. That was a really interesting, unique situation. I really wanted to make a video on it. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope it helped inform you more about the GTN and some of the crazy stuff that can happen in these player-based economies. I, I'm always at a loss. You know, there's always something that happens in a player-based economy that ends up surprising you sometime. You think you know everything, and then something like a, a bronze armor set sells for millions of credits. So hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I will see you in the next one.